I'm going to try some moves with some jumbo cards to see what we can do with these jumbo cards. Hey guys, it's your boy Apollo again, and this time it's going to be a magic review. So every Monday we're going to do a couple of magic reviews. Um, I'm just going to do the things that I like. I'm not going to personally do anything that, that I, I don't like because, well, if I don't like it, it's, if it's not up, well, uh, hold on, I'm supposed to see that yet? Turn that off for a minute. Yeah, that was, uh, <laughs> I was only supposed to pause, <laughs> you know, the logo on the on the screen there for Magician Unlimited so you guys can see it, but I think uh, you might have seen the trailer a little too soon, but that's for a project coming up. I'll tell you more about it later on once it's closer to its launch. But anyway, I'm going to do some magic reviews every Monday, so you guys keep an eye out for that. Like I said, it's going to be the stuff that I use, that I personally use. I'm not going to do anything I don't like. I don't see the point. Okay, I'm just going to recommend certain things. So every Monday, we're going to do some recommendations and review. So, one of my most favorite products that came out within recent years is the Tarantula. Now, the Tarantula is uh, an IT system. If you know what IT is, then you've probably been doing magic for a long time. I'm not going to actually reveal the secret uh, to it because it's up to you to find out. Back to the review. Now, the Tarantula, I think, came out back in 2017. Uh, Yigal Mesika put it out, so he's like one of the masters of IT work. And I gotta tell you this much, it is freaking awesome, all right? I've worked with iTeam throughout the years uh, on stage and for close-up, but I've never used it consistently as much as I used the Tarantula 2. Now, why Tarantula 2? Well, the first one came out back in, I believe, 2004, 2005. I played around with it, oh, it was okay. I mean, it's not as good as number two. I mean, the second one had made so many improvements. I actually use it in everyday gigs, in a close-up, walk around. Uh, occasionally for parlor, I use it. Uh, he teaches you, I think, five effects with a bonus effect at the end. The five main ones I perform on a regular basis, especially the, the one with the ring. Uh, I've actually done this effect in broad daylight, believe it or not. So I don't recommend it. Unless it's very cloudy, that's when you can do it. You can use it outside. Um, also, watch your uh, watch the people's height here. If somebody's a little too uh, you know height challenged, let's just put it that way. If they're about this, maybe here, or for kids, they might see the secret. Okay, they might be able to spot it. Um, like in magic, even if it's not true, even if you disprove them, they still won. You know, if, you, if they have a theory of, on how it works, they still won. So, like I said, he shows you five different effects. He shows you the, the first one is just the dollar bill thing. He shows you the one where it's laying on a table and whenever you want, it can come to you. All right, that's what's cool about this. It has a pause button or hold button. Uh, you can make it come to you on command. All right, that's the tarantula too. So the third effect is one of my personal favorite effects. I've been doing it even before uh, the tarantula ever came out, even before one came out, uh, which is the haunted deck. All right, the haunted deck is a classic of magic. Uh, for years, I used um, Spooked, Nicholas Einhorn's Spooked. That was great. Uh, that came out, I think, around the same time as tarantula one. But there's a couple of limitations with this, with tarantula two, you could be totally naked if you wanted. So the Haunted Deck is one of the cleanest ones. He actually shows you the card flipping over, as you can see in this clip um, when I used it. Uh, it's an episode uh, one of, uh, actually no, it's an insane reaction to a simple ambitious card. That's like the first episode that I posted up on my channel here. Oh, once again, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified of the latest magic tutorials and reviews and episodes. So back to the review, that's the third effect he shows you, the, the haunted deck. Those are my constant pet routines when it comes to the tarantula. The two uh, effects that I use, that's the first one actually. The first one is the haunted deck. I close 
You can close any routine with that that involves a signed card or you don't even have to sign it, you can do it as a standalone, but I like using it in a routine. So the fourth effect he shows you is the lifesaver, where the lifesaver actually comes up and goes into your mouth, which is amazing because um, you can do that for a parlor, for stage, or for a close-up. And it's great because they open the lifesaver, it's a real lifesaver, they put it in your hand and then you spin it, it floats, you can do that move that he, he does that fooled me when I first saw it on uh, on the trailer. It looks like it's CGI. Like if you guys watch the trailer, I'm gonna put the link down below. Oh, you can actually purchase from that link. He does this move, it's going all the way around and it's crazy and it looks like CGI. I thought he was using CGI for a second, but of course that's that's not the case because I've actually done it now. I've, I've been able to do it all the way around, pretty close to the, uh, the object, mind you. Uh, I've mastered it, I've been doing it every single day since I bought the Tarantula 2. So the fifth effect is the one with the ring. Now you can do this with a borrowed ring, uh, a wedding band of course, because if you use like, a, like an engagement ring with a rock on it, uh, it's, if you do the spin, it's gonna wobble. So use a wedding band, okay? Um, which is great because when you do it, it's a borrowed ring, borrowed objects, effects with, uh, with borrowed objects are always stronger, of course. Um, which is odd, they always say it's magnetic, but a lot of people don't know, it's like, a lot of these metals aren't really magnetic unless it's like, I don't know, I'm not a science geek or anything like that, but I don't think gold is magnetic, neither is silver. Anyway, yeah, comment down below if it is, if it is magnetic, I don't even know. I don't think so. Gold or silver, I think steel is like one of the few magnetic, like steel, yeah? That's why I steal core quarters and things like that. Anyway, that's neither here or there. So the, the bonus effect he shows you is the PK touch. Um, you can actually do that with his other product, Loops, but uh, I'd prefer using Loops if I were to do any type of PK touch. Uh, you can do it with this, I've done it with this. The only problem is that you can't be fully surrounded because if you're there for too long, the, the gimmick is kind of in their face, it's kind of visible, okay? So uh, the bonus effect works, it's just, that's why it's a bonus effect. But uh, I still prefer the original method, which is his, you know, which is the loops, which is his loop products. So, do I recommend it? I'm gonna give it five spiders. That means I use it a lot, okay? I'm gonna tell you guys more about the rating system in the next uh, Magic Video review. Once again, this is your boy Apollo Riego signing out. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button, the bell icon to get notified of the latest Magic Reviews episodes and tutorials. See you soon.